Good morning. My name is Harry Craighead, a bond servant of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we welcome you to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. Today we're going to talk about the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The ability to contemplate and act productively using knowledge, experience, understanding, common sense, and insight. We're talking about wisdom. Yes. The biblical definition of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, as that's where it begins and ends, and God is the source. Earthly wisdom is really no wisdom at all. Because 1 Corinthians 3.19 tells us the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Yes. True wisdom is found in obedience to God. Begins with fear and reverence for him and his word. Where there is no fear of the Lord, there can never be any true wisdom. God doesn't guide those who want to run their own life. He only guides those who admit that their need for his direction and rely on his wisdom. Amen. And to take with us, wisdom isn't simply intelligence or knowledge or even understanding. It's the ability to use these to think and act in such a way that Common sense prevails, and choices are beneficial and productive. Amen. God's word makes us wise, wiser than our enemies and wiser than any teacher who ignores it. Mm. True wisdom goes beyond amassing knowledge. It's applying knowledge in a life-changing way. Yes. Intelligence or experienced people are not necessarily wise. Mm. Wisdom comes from applying God's word to our life. Yes. Wisdom dictates that builders choose a solid surface, not a shifting one for a building's foundation. To know the importance of a solid foundation and choose a shifting one is foolish and will result in destruction. <clears throat> Those who accept wisdom's invitation make a decision that results in a major life change. They wisely choose to forsake the foolish ways of this world and go a different direction, the way of understanding. Wisdom warns true believers, your task is not an easy one. Not everyone will welcome your invitation, much less accept it. Scorners, those who mock God's word, will be angry at the messengers and will ridicule and abuse them. The wicked will scoff at the reprimand of their lifestyles, at the very idea that they are living unwisely. Some people become angry at the mere suggestion that they are sinners, that they are traveling on the highway that leads to hell and eternal separation from God. Tragically, they remain lost because they refuse to acknowledge that they are lost. Mm. Others are infuriated at the very mention of God's name. And still others are hostile toward believers whom they perceive are trying to force God upon them. Mm. Finally, declaring the truth that Christ is the very embodiment of wisdom is the only path that leads to life can be the ultimate source of a person's wrath. For these reasons, and many more, those who spread wisdom's message can expect to be opposed and publicly humiliated and scorned. Scorners will not accept the invitation to change their lives through accepting God's wisdom, that is, accepting Christ. Wise people humbly acknowledge their sinful condition and accept the rebuke of their foolish ways. They embrace the truth of wisdom's message 
and love those who care enough about them to warn them that they are on the road to destruction. Instruct the wise and they will become wiser. A wise person is grateful for instruction and welcomes the opportunity to become wiser. People who are truly wise never reach a point of satisfaction or complacency. They never feel they have arrived at the pinnacle of wisdom. They realize they need to grow in wisdom and they accept and appreciate corrections. Yes. The beginning point of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, trusting and knowing the Holy One. The fear of the Lord is the prerequisite to wisdom and there's no wisdom apart from fearing, trusting and knowing the Lord. Amen. It's the knowledge of the Holy One that opens the door to understanding wisdom's truth. Every person must bear the consequences of the choices he or she has made in life. On one hand, wise choices produce good fruit. On the other hand, foolish choices result in decay and death. For those who fear the Lord and accept wisdom's invitation, that is, act wisely, this fruit is sweet. Wisdom's reward for her friends with long life, many days, and additional years. Ultimately, the number of our, our days is in God's hands. But natural law decrees that people who live by God's wisdom will live longer than those who live lives of sin. Wisdom is the power to see and the inclination to choose the best and highest goal together with the surest means of obtaining it. The wisdom God provides is there to guide us throughout our lives. It might just save a life for eternity. Amen? Amen.